Good morning. If you want to see how we restored the inside of this 100-year-old uh, Camelback steamer trunk, stay tuned, because that's what we're going to do today. Well, welcome again to uh, Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 256, the 48th week of uh, year five. Uh, today, uh, last week, we restored the outside of a camelback trunk. Uh, today, we're going to finish on it. It's all dry now, and we're going to finish the inside. Um, sounds like it could be a pretty fun project. Let's knock off the chit-chat, get over there, and see what the uh, mission is. Here's a little uh, view of the outside. We'll uh, we'll go on and and uh, show the whole trunk uh, later on. But remember last week we thought maybe this was galvanized. I've been thinking about it, and I think this was nickel plated at one time. Uh, that was the old timey way that before they had chrome, they used to nickel plate stuff. And that would explain what that brown stuff is that we couldn't get off on this finish. That brown stuff was actually copper. It was first electroplated with copper, and then uh, the nickel was nickel plated on it. This trunk is uh, for sure over 100 years old, and it hasn't been worked on on the inside at all. It was covered in this paper and this is how they did it back then. They, uh, it's, it's got a wooden interior, metal outside, and then they coat the inside with paper. Uh, we're going we're gonna to finish the inside of this with, with uh, material, some kind of cloth. But right now we need to just clean the inside out and decide what we're going to do over here. I'm going to keep that lithograph up there, but there's a big piece missing right here. I haven't exactly figured out what I'm going to do there. And what I'm going to do is look at this, uh, look at this paper. This is like 100 year old wallpaper, I guess. Not even wallpaper. And they got this uh, seaming tape they put over the center here. Looks like they left a gap in here on purpose, I guess for expansion. This whole thing's put together with clenched nails. Um, this is an old technology, but still used today in boat building. Put planking on, it's very effective. You put a nail in from the other side, and then you put a steel block up against it, and it bends over the nail. It makes for very uh, solid construction cleaned out all that old paper. Uh, what I'm doing now is lining the inside with this fabric. And what I'm doing is I'm taking these cardboard panels and putting uh, the cloth over them and then attaching the panels. Let me show you how I do that. First thing you gotta do is Make sure that there's all the wrinkles around your fabric. Best way I've found to get around these corners is just cut a little notch or square out like that. And you don't have to do this, but uh, it makes it easier if you go in and 
make some slots or make some cuts along the edge. Makes it fold up nicer. Okay, I got four panels to put in. I got this side, this side, and the back and the front. So there's four panels. Now what I'm going to try to do is uh, glue up all four of these panels at the same time using this uh, spray adhesive. Hope I have enough. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying an even coat on both sides of the, I mean, on both surfaces I'm going to stick together. And a critical step, you know, this isn't like regular glue. This, uh, this stuff works better if you let it dry. Uh, almost completely before you stick it together. Additionally, if you don't let it dry, it'll get on your fingers and your it'll and it's just a nightmare to try to if you get it on your hands, you can wear gloves, but then you get it on your on your gloves. The trick is put it on, let it dry and then stick the pieces together. That way if it touches your hands, um, you know, it won't stick to your fingers. So now, this uh, glue is just about dry. Then you take these little uh, edges and you just fold them over like this be a close-up where we cut those uh, cut those corners out and we just fold these corners just like that and you give a, a nice finished look here's another corner you can see that notch now I just take this flap pull it right over and take the other one, do the same thing. Now I've got to spray the side that's going to stick on the inside of the uh, case. Well, I sprayed the inside of this with adhesive. You can see that it's wet with adhesive. Actually, it's, uh, it's tacky now, so I can go ahead and try to stick this side panel in. Okay, the thing has uh, these little notches here. I'm going to make sure that I get the notches on the right side. This thing's been the hardest thing to film because, you know, I'm inside, uh, inside this cabinet. I know you're just looking at the back of my head, here, but that's how, it's, uh, how it goes in there. And here's the last panel. Let's we'll see if it fits. Let's 
seem like it wants, wants to. I want it to be a tight fit though. on the glue. Here's a look at the new inside. Still looks uh, still looks old, but it's all cleaned up and got new material in it. Putting the new handles on. They're originally held on with the clinched nails, which is the best way to do it. But I don't know how to do that. And I'm too lazy to learn right now. So I'm just putting them on with um, self-tapping galvanized uh, screws. These are designed where you pull them out and then they'll lay flat so the store so the uh, trunk will store easier. What I'm doing here is making a little tray that's going to fit inside there. Kind of funny looking design. Let me uh, get, these, get these sides on it and we'll take a look and what the concept is. Well, here's a framework for the tray. Still going to put sides on it. But the interesting part about it is the bottom. See that the bottom extends out past the uh, edges so that when I put it in here, it'll clear the uh, edges of the box. It's got a little lip coming down here that would clip into this. These are ordinarily made real low on this side and this side they're a little bit bigger but I want to make it symmetrical okay now we're going to put the uh, sides on it well I put those sides on there I thought for a change I'd put these uh, decorative screws in instead of putting brads and I also had to put notches in here to account for this uh, cross brace here so that'll go right down in there like that, and then this will close right here. Okay, uh, I'll put a little uh, stain on this thing, and then we'll we're going to cover the bottom of it with this same material uh, that we lined the chest with. Well, I got that other panel done. Let's put it in see if it fits. I don't know about the rest of it, but this thing came out real nice. Let's put it in and see what it looks like. Well, 
Alrighty. Well, I guess that does it for uh, Memphis Monday 256. Uh, we installed our new handles. We uh, cleared out the old material on the inside of here and we uh, relined the box and we installed an, a new little tray. Well, that does it for another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 256. Uh, today we stripped out the interior of that old uh, trunk, relined it, and put, put us a little uh, top tray in it. Turned out okay. Um, hope you got some takeaways. Like, favorite, share, all the stuff you get on the internet. Most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.